Okay, so about Science IT and Triton. So actually we were just talking a little bit before we started here about how we need to adjust some of these pages. So you see Science IT written everywhere here. And that is technically who we are, but isn't what we're calling ourselves these days. These days we call ourselves Alto Scientific Computing because Science IT makes you think we're about the Alto University School of Science and we're not, we serve the whole university and IT makes you think that we do like laptops and mice and monitors and stuff like that. And we don't, we support the computing via the infrastructure. Yeah, and it's, it's not only related to the IT part, we also do like consulting uh, for researchers, we help users design their codes, we, we help them manage their data, we do all kinds of stuff that it's related to uh, scientific computing, so IT doesn't necessarily ring all of the bells. Right, yeah. Actually, maybe we can talk about the three the other components we do. So we have the infrastructure, and we have training, like we're doing now. And like Simo said, we have a research software engineer program, which can basically go directly to you and help you with your software. And this is especially useful sometimes when you're trying to make something run on the cluster and it just doesn't work right. And then um, we need to, um, like you need some help getting it to run there and we can provide that support too. So the main focus of the day is Triton, which is the name of our computer cluster. Simo, would you like to tell a bit more about that? Yeah, so so Triton basically, it's a, um, well, um, mid-sized cluster uh, on the larger side when it comes to like university, university's own clusters. So many, there's of course bigger fish like CSC that support the whole Finland who are super clusters and so forth. But when it comes to the university size, uh, university uh, clusters, Triton is basically uh, one of the largest in, in Finland. I think, yeah, with Helsinki yeah. University, we are probably the largest. Uh, so, so, but, but the size in computing doesn't always mean everything because like um, uh, uh, we are basically the first stepping stone for people when they come, go for uh, computational needs so basically we we are we can provide uh, much more like interactive support because we manage the cluster ourselves uh, right. and that's yeah. and and our cluster is is basically uh, it's a heterogeneous cluster so we have from many uh, many different uh, generations of cpus and uh, mm. gpu accelerators and then all of these are in in this queue system called slurm so basically you can access all of them through this queue system and uh, they have a shared file system, this Lustre file system uh, that is also available uh, to, to view on the, uh, your desktops and, mm -hmm. and so forth but for data housing. But basically our cluster is like this uh, constantly evolving uh, bunch of computers that are, we're constantly adding new nodes, we're constantly removing old nodes mm -hmm. And we are uh, uh, moving the, the cluster forwards, uh, and it's it's like a continuous project. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that it will it will work for serious research for most of our researchers, but for those people who also want to go uh, to larger scale computing, it will also work as a training ground and uh, like a teaching ground, uh, so that they can access them. Uh, the supercomputers of the CSC and Lumi and so forth. Yeah. You could wonder why the each individual university has its own supercomputer when like there's ones at CSC or like these national computers. And I think really here the benefit is the integration to the Alto environment. So basically instead of having to copy things back and forth all the time, you can work on the same data on our cluster, on your desktop, on your laptop, on the virtual desktops of the university, and so on. So 
Yeah, and I think you'll see yeah. more of this when we get to the data analysis part of things. Yeah, and, and uh, talking about the term supercomputer, uh, in in this sense, it means that it's more than one computer, or it's it's uh, it comp is uh, it consists of multiple computers. Uh, so basically, the you, when you think about a cluster, it's it's basically what it says in the tin. It's it's a cluster of computers, so mm -hmm. a bunch of computers in in racks. Uh, joined together by a high-speed network. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's just a bunch of computers, but then there's, because, well, there's a bunch of computers, and it, it would be really hard to manage the how people would use them. We use these queues and stuff like that so that we actually efficiently use this bunch of computers. So it's, it's like, a, in a sense, one big computer, but also... Uh, it co is consists of multiple uh, smaller computers. Yeah, and, uh, and that's why yeah, that... the the shell course on Friday was so important because you can't just take your code and run it the same way and expect it to be a hundred times faster because it won't be. But you can run it a hundred times at the same time and then combine all the results together and then you get a um, hundred times more work done. All of this uh, will become more clear when we go to the, the part where you actually submit jobs. But for now, you should think that it's not a mainframe. Like if you <laughs> know the same mainframe, like in the olden days where people had death, like a keyboard and a uh, display connected to one computer that was basically shared by all of the different uh, displays. It's not that kind of a system. It's yeah. Uh, it's not. It's a bit different yeah okay so what skills would you say are needed to use a cluster like triton and um that's a good question so mm -hmm. we here we have a link to our training page and so sometimes it can be a bit of a culture shock when someone tries to go from their laptop to the cluster there's just a lot of different things to keep track of and like the Linux shell, all the environment, Git, all of these kinds of things have to somehow work together to get the work done. So I guess we won't go into much more detail right now, but we have a modular training plan, which sort of brings you up to the level you need to do different types of work on the cluster. So this is the one of the introductions to that. Yes, we... We have also many courses that are, some are more specialized, some are more generic about Python or um, Linux shell, like Richard mentioned, data analysis, MATLAB, GPU comp, uh, programming. So uh, do check on our uh, scientific computing in practice lecture series for upcoming courses. You will get mail notifications through the Triton users list as well. Yeah. Okay, and then what about getting help? Because you often need to ask us for advice. So yeah, there's yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, there's many ways you can ask for us uh, for help. If you have a sensitive issue or account related issue or something like that, uh, the easiest way is to set, send an e support <clears throat> a request to our service email address. If you have an issue related to what well what happens within the cluster, like uh, you're missing some software, you have some problem with your code, uh, a good idea would be to set up an issue in our issue tracker, which is in Alta version control. Uh, that's the main portal we use for yeah. well uh, solving these issues. Yeah. And this is really important because there's just such an overwhelming amount of requests we get that if we can't track them and if we can't use the same answers to multiple people then we just can't give can't give the support that's needed so if you send us something and ask a question and we direct it to the issue tracker please don't be offended it's just what we need to do to get things going also, we have a chat system that isn't mentioned here right now. Perhaps we should talk about that. Yeah, we'll have. 
yeah, we are taking it into production right now, basically. So we will add more information here, but we have set up this Zulip chat that is meant for like every, well, all of our users can join us in the chat. So this is uh, a chat system that we have been using for past few months for our yeah. internal communication. But we may, we want it to become this kind of a hub for users as well, so that users can join us and have discussion about, well, if they find something interesting, like more informal discussions as well, but also more technical discussions. And so that, well, we can have a better community uh, all together, yeah. especially during these COVID times. Yeah. We can't promise to answer every question by chat and remember it, but we'll do our best. And also we hope that you can answer other people's questions via the chat too. Yeah, and, and also like, uh, like it might be a fastest way of reaching uh, like many people at the same time, because uh, if you don't have an issue, you don't necessarily watch the issue tracker, mm -hmm. uh, but you might check the chat. So if we have something interesting uh, coming or uh, there's something interesting happening in the scientific computing world, uh, yeah. the chat might be a good place to share that kind of information. Yeah. Another great thing we have is a daily garage session every day at one o'clock. Well, I guess not today because we'll be here, but it's basically a ongoing Zoom meeting and you can join and ask us any question about anything scientific computing related. Or I guess not, yeah. but who knows what we'll be able to say. And there'll be multiple the and there'll be multiple of us there and we'll sort of chat and find who can answer your question the best and help you reach them. Yeah, it, it says on the documentation that it's weekly, but like Richard mentioned, it's daily uh, because of these uh, remote times. So, so every day at at one, uh, we are at this Zoom meeting, and uh, sometimes you might like if you have an issue, we might discuss it in the issue tracker or or issue report, and then we might tell you to, to come to the garage because it's much easier to share the screen and show what's happening. Uh, the, and solve the issue uh, well live yeah. instead of uh, uh, via messages. So, or or if you want to like design a workflow for yourself or something like that, you need some specific information. It's much easier to have a discussion about it than yeah. um, have a ticket. Yeah, I think this is a really underutilized thing. We have lots of time there, so please let people know and come by. So, um, yeah, so next up is the connecting to Triton tutorial. So maybe we should go straight to there. Yeah. Okay. We'll click on next, which you can also find from the course page.